everyone, welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about the process from becoming a red giant to a white dwarf. Now I spoke about how a main sequence star becomes a red giant and it's also to do with this idea that the hydrogen in the core runs out so the radiation pressure drops and the core contracts because gravity will win. The core becomes hotter to fuse those bigger elements which means the outer layer expands. And because the outer layer has expanded, we call them giant stars. But the reason they are red is because the core, even though the core is hotter, the corona, this outer layer, is much cooler. So because of Vine's law, appears more red. Now, what happens is a star will continually contract and the outer layer will get further away. Now, eventually, the contraction can't feasibly happen anymore and what actually happens is it's contracted so much that the outer corona is so far away from the core the core does not have enough gravitational pull on the outer layer so the outer layer just goes into space becoming a nebula or some space dust leaving just this hot core that is tiny in the middle this is what we call a white dwarf. Okay, now to go from a main sequence to a red giant, your mass must be less than, so the star must be less than eight solar masses. So the star can be basically our sun or smaller or up to eight times our sun or smaller and this is what will happen to it that it will become a red giant and every time it runs out of its fuel, so hydrogen, then helium, then lithium, it will keep running out of the fuel, it will keep contracting and the corona will keep going further away and to the point where the core cannot keep hold of, due to gravitation, the actual corona. So the corona just goes off into the ether, leaving this hot core left, becoming a white dwarf. So it's a small, hot object. And because it's so small, due to Stefan's law, which is power equals sigma a t to the four, because it is so small, compared to its temperature change, the power it emits becomes less. And therefore, even though it's emitting a bluey color, will not really be bright at all which is why we find it in the bottom left-hand corner of the Hertzsprung Russell. So it's an O-class star because it's so hot, but it's actually very, very dim because it's so small. A white dwarf will eventually get to the point where it doesn't have enough mass to pull it in even further. So it will come a point where it's run out of its fuel and when the radiation pressure drops, it doesn't have enough mass to go down to the next level to be able to fuse the heavier element. At this point, when fusion stops, it becomes a brown dwarf and then a black dwarf. And that is the star gone. Now, this is a very, this is the timeline that our sun will take. Our sun is not very big at all and not very bright. It will swell up to become a red giant when the core runs out of hydrogen and then eventually after the corona has passed Mars the corona will go off into the ether and become part of space leaving the hot dense core of our sun left behind and that sun will event that core will eventually run out of fuel and cannot physically go any further and emit any more light so it'll become a brown dwarf and then a black dwarf so that there is what happens with a red supergiant. In my next video, I'm gonna, a red giant. In my next video, I'm gonna talk about the red supergiant.